Con men now back in stores right now. They got here just a few minutes ago and they're inside right now being celebrated. Not only did they bring that national championship more than 1,700 miles back home here to stores, but they're also fulfilling a dream, a dream nine years in the making. UConn students were proud going into the championship game Monday night. Huskies even more prideful after the men's basketball team clinched the NCAA championship. It feels great to be a Husky, honestly. It's a dream. A dream win against San Diego State, a game that kept 10,000 fans on their toes inside Gamble Pavilion screaming. <laughs> at every point. Guilford's Grace O'Brien barely has a voice left. I started to get a little nervous once we were within like five points, but once we got within five minutes and we were up, I was like, we won this. It was like cinematic. Like I, didn't, I came out of Gamble and I was just looking around. I was like, wow, this is really what it's like. It was like, it was like a movie experience. It was crazy. What does it feel like waking up as a Husky this morning? Feels good. I came outside. I was smiling. It was nice and sunny. Resurrected. <laughs> A dream lead over the Aztecs for most of the game and dream like sunshine over campus on Tuesday. Who's ready to buy? Diehard Fan Supplies one day pop up shop selling out of championship merch. Six tap right there. I never thought like we would be national champions while I was here, at least. Others breaking out historic gear from the years that put the Huskies on the national map. This is a vintage 1999 one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's go. A Monday night dream Huskies are still talking about all day. The group chat's on fire. <laughs> no, the group chat was on fire, and we're all sending pictures from like the day and the night. And that's the thing about a dream. It doesn't last forever, but you can spend $40 and buy some merch, and that could last forever. Live from the basketball capital of the world, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.